Hello everyone, this is RF Biker Scout coming at you with another video. I got decided to review issue one of the Star Wars, which recently came out, which is the first part of eight of an adaptation of George Lucas's first draft from 1974. Just a little background on the rough draft. In 1973, even before American Graffiti came out, George Lucas was working on the Star Wars and he made a 13 page treatment of the story. It's similar to this but not quite. By the time American Graffiti came out in August 1st 1973 then he really got a commitment from Fox. Yeah you gotta get a story going here. And so he wrote most of the first draft in late 73, early 74. The rough draft was done in May 1974 and then the first draft which is very similar, just some names changed, was done in 1974 of July. It's very different than the story we come to know later. I compared this to the actual first draft, and there are some slight differences, but there's not all that much different. We open here with Kane Starkiller and his two sons, Anakin and Wendy. All of these designs in here are pretty much brand new because by the time there were designers on Star Wars of what things would look like for the film, for example, Ralph McQuarrie was brought in first, it wasn't really until the second draft that that was, that was the way it is. So what exactly happens in this story? I'm not going to give you spo- I mean, I guess this is a time to say spoiler alert. It's so different than the, the real thing that I'm really, I, if you're really interested in the evolution of Star Wars, this is the story for you. Here's some Star Destroyer designs here. Then they have the Emperor here. This is the Alderaan, and it actually starts on Utapau. Of course, Utapau is brought in in Episode 3. It's nothing like the Utapau in here. Um, the Emperor has one scene in the whole story. I've read the first draft a number of times. I never can quite get my head around the story entirely, even though I've read it many, many, t quite a few times. I'd say about a dozen. Um, this really helps visualize that. Here's the, the stormtroopers, long live the Empire, death of the Jedi. Here, this is Darth Vader. He's not a major character at all, but I guess you'd call him part of the bad guys. This is Cole. And you've got um, characters. Um, this is General Luke Skywalker. This is his first appearance. He's one of the major players. He helps guide Anakin, Scar Killer, along. Um, this is a bunch of bureaucrats. They don't tell them your names, but if you read the original script, you can get their names. In the long run, they're not really major players in the story. They the. Uh, Here's the two kids. This is Biggs and Wendy. And then there's Leia. Is their sister. She's smaller. She's younger than in the final draft version. She's got some things to do in the story, but not as much in the, as in the final. Then here's Kane Starkiller visiting Montrose. That's sort of where it lets off. So they, they meet each other. They're old friends. Then there's General Skywalker there. Um, he reveals himself to be part, not really all human. And they obviously use Vader's designs there. They have the Jedi Bendu, the Force of Others. It's just very strange, but you got some of the same names, but nothing really match. I don't know what to, to say about that other than I'm going to give you guys a link to the the full original script and you can see you can read it for yourselves then they go into what they what they designed and what they did with here the capital is the cassius planet of Alderaan the city the same name was folks above it Alderaan is the clear predecessor to Cloud City these ones are like almost like trade federation tanks air tanks they decided to go with so anyway the Star Wars is something to really wrap your head around if you are into uh, looking into the evolution of Star Wars in general, the the backstory of how this script was even made is in, of course, the Making of Star Wars book by J.W. Rinsler, who is also the writer of this, so check that out too. Um, I'd highly recommend this. At one point I was thinking of doing an audio version of this, 
haven't decided yet if I want to pursue that or not. I, I mean, you'd have to have a cast of about 50. I did a whole video on it. Not many people were familiar with it, so I thought it, I decided to hold off maybe after this is done, maybe pursue this. So there's eight issues. It'll be another seven months or something from that at the earliest if I decide to pursue that, if people are still interested. Doing really good with this channel. I've got 80 subscribers. I've got two series coming up. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing reading myself the EU, everything I have, plus a few things I can get from the library and whatever, from the beginning, Dawn of the Jedi, and up to Crucible in that time period, all the way through one last time before Episode 7 and all that starts and Rebels and everything else, and really get my high mind around it. Some of that stuff I haven't read since it came out, others I've read many a time, but as I, re I read it, I'm going to do a short video and tell my thoughts on it. And I'm also going to do a little action figure series kind of thing. I'm going to start doing them on this channel. I thank you for guys for subscribing. I've got 80 subscribers and I've only done really two videos. One was just asking how I should use this channel versus Star Wars Live. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Star Wars. And if you want me to go into more detail on the first draft and keep going with the Star Wars, let me know too in the comments. And until then, may the force of others be with you.